Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will compare Amazon with Flipkart, which is a homegrown e-commerce portal in India. Here are 10 important things that you should know about this. Amazon was founded by Jeff Bezos in 1994 as an e-merchant of books. It expanded two wide category of products afterwards. Flipkart was founded by Sachin and Benny Bansal in 2007. They copied the Amazon model in India and started with books as well. In fact, before starting Flipkart, both Sachin and Bini used to be Amazon employees. Amazon is headquartered in Seattle, USA, and it has its offices in Hyderabad and Bangalore in India. Flipkart is based out of Bangalore in India. Amazon is a publicly held company and is listed on Nasdaq. Its market capitalization is 663 billion US dollars. Flipkart is a privately held company and is valued at approximately 10 billion dollars. Its main investors are SoftBank, Naspers and Excel Partners. Amazon has two types of fulfillment networks. Amazon Fulfilled and Merchant Fulfilled. Under Amazon Fulfilled, Amazon offers logistics service to sellers. If sellers also opt to store goods in Amazon warehouses, it's called FPA or Fulfillment by Amazon. It is a type of vendor-owned inventory model where sellers' inventory lies in Amazon warehouses, but the inventory belongs to sellers. Under Merchant Fulfilled Network, sellers directly dispatch items to customers without Amazon's support on logistics. Flipkart also offers similar services and Flipkart fulfillment is equivalent to Amazon's FPA and they also offer storage and logistics support to the sellers. They also support merchant fulfillment network just like Amazon. Amazon likes to call its sales events Great Indian Sale. It is known to offer a decent discount and lightning deals on a variety of products. They also brought their global shopping event Prime Day to India in 2017. Flipkart was the pioneer of first mega sales event in India named Big Billion Days in 2014. It was a huge success and has been held every year since then around Diwali. Both the companies offer discounts on festivals like Diwali Dashera or events like Independence Day Republic Day. Amazon has its own logistics wing named Amazon Logistics, which delivers most of the volume for Amazon India. India, in fact, is the second country after UK where Amazon Logistics is of extreme importance to Amazon. They also rely on third-party logistics providers like Blue Dart, Ecom Express and Delivery to deliver the items to customers. Flipkart also relies on its own logistics wing named eCart to be self-sufficient in delivering items to customers. But like Amazon, they are also dependent on third-party logistics providers. Amazon offers its subscription service named Amazon Prime. It costs Rs 999 per year and comes with free expedited delivery on qualifying products. You can also stream a huge collection of movies and TV series if you are a member of this service. Also, Prime customers get an early access to some deals during sales events. Flipkart offers Flipkart First, which costs about 500 rupees per year. It also offers expedited delivery on qualifying products, but is a no match to Amazon Prime. Amazon offers quality products at reasonable prices under the umbrella of Amazon Basics, which is actually a private label. They offer computer accessories, luggage and home furnishing items under this brand. Flipkart also has a similar foray into this space named Flipkart Smart Buy and you can get computer and mobile accessories, household items at affordable prices. Besides Amazon Basics, Amazon has some excellent hardware offerings like Amazon Echo, Kindle eBook Reader, Fire TV and Fire Tablet, which are pretty successful products. Amazon also launched Fire Phone, 
but it was a complete sales failure. Amazon owns a variety of companies like IMDb. Most significant of all is AWS or Amazon Web Services, which is a cloud services platform and offers web hosting to a lot of big names. It is in fact the main revenue stream for Amazon. Flipkart owns Mintra, which in turn owns Jabong now. These three companies are still run as independent entities, but together they are a formidable space in Indian e-commerce. Both companies claim to be leader in Indian e-commerce space. We believe Amazon has slight edge over Flipkart in terms of number of orders. If you consider Mintra and Jabong's orders as well with Flipkart, then they will have a decent edge over Amazon. Amazon has deep pockets and is investing significantly in India. Flipkart recently got funds from SoftBank to support its further growth. Only time will tell which company will survive and be the number one. But we sincerely hope that both Amazon and Flipkart remain significant in Indian e-commerce space because competition is good for customers at the end of the day.